So welcome back to the Bono Shows, and I appreciate you guys tuning in once again. Uh, we had such a fantastic turnout last time that I have my guest again, Miss Blue from Our Kings and Queens. And now we're here to talk about a little bit about credit and some other things that we did along our journey and what led us to where we are now. So Blue, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? Great, great. So the weather is good down Thank in St. Louis. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's a chilly, windy type of vibe. It's not, not my favorite. It's okay, okay. <laughs> well, I'm down in Texas, so you already know what's going on down here. <laughs> so, moving on. <laughs> so, question, uh, you know, you was working with another personal credit company, and that particular person referred you to me for the business endeavor. Uh, mm -hmm. How was your perception and about it then opposed to now and then? Can you give me a little details? Yeah, so um, as you said, a few years ago, I was working with another gentleman. Um, he was fixing my personal credit and he was doing an amazing job at it. So right, right when we were at the end of uh, the work that he had to do, I mentioned that I wanted to begin working on my business credit. So his response to that was, I can work with you on your business credit, but I know somebody who's better for the job. And so that's when he introduced you and I, you began working on my credit and it's been wonderful since then. Awesome, awesome. So with that being said, uh, so he referred you to roughly build the business and help with building business funding. How did that go? Mm -hmm. It's been amazing. Um, it, it, what I, what I uh, like about it the most is every, everything that you did, I felt informed. I didn't feel like I was confused about any steps or, you know, anything with the process. You told me everything that it was going to take to get the job done. You did it. I was happy with it. And then uh, when we were finished with that, all of the funding that I applied for, that I wanted to apply for, I received. You see. So it was great. <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome. And I, and I kind of know that journey too. It was a little bit of a journey before the meeting and greeting, you know, and some people, when they come to certain companies, they're a little skeptical, you know, they come with their arms folded and like, okay, I'm not sure about this guy, any of that. Did you experience any of that in the beginning? I did experience it in the beginning. And I think, I think that's normal. People want to be um, reserved when it comes to their income. Nobody, well, most people don't have a, a easy dollar. People have to learn, earn their money. So when it comes to getting in business with another person, um, you know, you're kind of reserved. You want, you're skeptical. But as I began to work with you, like I said, everything that you did, everything that you charged for, I was well informed of everything that was going on. And then, um, yeah, at the end of it, I saw that you were very, very professional. You were diligent. You got things done. But in the manner that you said that you was gonna get it done. And I think one thing that stood out to me the most was um, what I've dealt with with business is, uh, you know, you, you pay your money to a person, they say they're gonna get something done. And then you find yourself having to make phone calls to remind them or phone calls looking for them. Um, and it just becomes very, very unprofessional and, and kind of distant after you pay. It was never like that with you. It's like when you said you would get something done, you, you got it done in a very, very timely manner. I never had to like hunt you down or anything like that. Well, that's great. Yeah, and that's kind of some what my team do. We specialize in that. I try to make sure we exercise you know, due diligence on our end to communicate with the <laughs> client, keep up, let them know. So that way you don't have to call and, you know, bombard yeah. us we like to call you i'll be calling and asking people yeah. hey you paid us for a service can i get your doc so we can proceed yeah. <laughs> no tell me about it and 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 yeah. this carries on to my other question you know everything went so well with our connection of building a business helping out with funding you know getting some other things taken care of you decided to make me a part of your home health care company can you elaborate on that a little bit for me I did. I decided to make you chief. This is the first time I ever, I, I mean, I literally created this position just for you because I see the value that you can bring to my company. So I announced you as chief marketing officer. So you're the CMO of my uh, company and it's a decision that I, I don't regret and I don't think I would ever regret. Like you are diligently getting things done. So been very, very, very resourceful. You've been doing things for my business that I honestly don't think I could have done on my own. So yeah, you, you, you are part of the team. 
an oh, essential you. part of the team. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, man, I'm so humble to be honored <laughs> to be a part of this. Also, uh, you know, with that being said, what type of personal or professionalism resources have you, or could you say that I brought and introduced to your company? Oh, yeah. So as far as uh, professional resources, so I am in the midst of a big commercial renovation. My first uh, uh, project of this sort, I have never done residential. For some reason, I skipped straight to commercial when it came to, res uh, you know, doing uh, restoration and everything to the building. And I know absolutely nothing about it. So the team that, entered, that you introduced me to, just Tony with uh, Hard Hat Construction, He's been completely, completely professional. Like, he's been informative just the way you were informative. Every dollar that I spend, I feel comfortable um, with spending it. And then also Sync Lab in uh, Texas, in Dallas, Texas, my, they were my very first commercial. I had no idea who to go to. Um, so the professional references that you've given to me so far have worked out perfectly. Like, I've been comfortable. I have not felt... Um, like bamboozled or anything in the process. And then as far as personal references, it's like you, you have a, a million. It's kind of like you know the whole country and every, every person that you have introduced me with to be involved with me or my business in any kind of, in any kind of way has been pleasant the entire time. I don't have like anything ill to say about anybody that you've introduced me to. Oh, that is awesome. I don't, I don't yeah. even know what to say behind those words. Those are great words. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, and then Sync Lab True. Media, you know, these are guys that's actually, you know, doing kind of what we're doing now. They have great services, great tools, all of that. And like you say, that was your first commercial. So you love it, huh? Yes, they were friendly. They were professional. They, I was, my nerves were everywhere. They kind of made it a calm, you know, environment where even a person whose nerves are on the edge um, felt comfortable with it. So I, I felt very, very welcome with those guys at the same time. Nice. Thank you, thank you, appreciate that. Also, uh, here, you know, since we have such an excellent connection, business and planning stuff that we've been doing, what does the future look like with, you know, your company and Bo Knows? Oh, this, this, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna be longevity. Like I, I kind of see the success of our kings and queens home health and a professional relationship with all of those. At this point, it's hand in hand. It's kind of like, like I said before, you are, from what I feel, you are an essential part of my team. Um, this is going to be long standing, and you know, God willing, as long as you are with me, I'm with you professionally. So yeah, they, they, we're, we're in it for the long. Well, well, I do want to thank you for all of your time. I appreciate such those wonderful words and, you know, kind words and humbling words, too. But I also want to know, um, is there anything else you want to share to say to viewers or the listening, listeners here uh, in regards to, you know, a little bit of your success or our success? Anything you think you want to share before we exit? No, I just, I just want people to know that um, su success is possible. Um, so, so, so far, I've been doing this for many, many years now. So my overnight success has taken about seven to eight years. So I think what people need to take away from this is success from anybody is possible if you just stay consistent and if you surround yourself with positive, hardworking, uh, hard, hardworking people. And you know, that which you build your team, which you know, that's where you and uh, my wonderful office manager Gabrielle Brown comes in. It's all yes. about the company you keep. It's about the people that you surround yourself with when it comes to success in business. And you're, you're gonna make mistakes. People are gonna make mistakes. It's not gonna be an easy road, but it's definitely worth it to build success uh, based off yourself, your dream, and what it is that you want to do. Nice. I want to thank Ms. Blue for jumping in on again from our Kings and Queen Home Help. Wonderful service. Again, the network is a net worth, and we appreciate you jumping on. Bo knows who knows. If I don't know, I know somebody that do. And right now, we're going to take a word and listen to our sponsors. How does home health care relate to the COVID-19 pandemic? 
A recent study received data from more than 1,400 patients who were admitted to home health care after recovering from the coronavirus. In most cases, the patient had an average of six functional deficits, mostly to do with activities of daily living, which are personal hygiene, grooming, dressing and feeding, just to name a few. Hi, I'm Jayon Cooper, Executive Director and CEO of Our Kings and Queens Home Health. At the conclusion of the study I just mentioned, researchers were able to determine that 94% of patients were able to achieve significant improvements in both activities of daily living and symptom burden. So, it has been scientifically proven that home health care aids in the recovery of those who receive it. Our Kings and Queens Home Health has a team of personal care attendants who can, amongst other things, complete common household chores, assist with grooming and personal hygiene, meal prep, run errands, and fulfill shopping lists. To learn more about our full line of home health care services, visit our website or call our St. Louis or Kansas City office. And remember, we focus on your abilities, not your disabilities. Vote no business, vote no credit, vote no surviving during the pandemic, vote no real estate stocks and bonds with step by step we build in 101, vote no software and system too, showing startups and entrepreneurs what to do, vote no people bringing special guests, vote no tuning to the show for the rest.